everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to find non-copyright visuals or images. Uh, in particular, I'm going to show you how to find what's called created com Creative Commons License Zero, which means that essentially the rights have been waived, so the people who have created it, uh, you don't need to attribute them. Uh, and then you can also use it for both non-commercial but also commercial use. So very important if you're entering competitions and they explicitly state that you need to have uh, non-copyrighted visuals that you can use within a commercial context. So to start with, I'm going to actually show you the search engine that you could use. Uh, and then I'm going to just go through a couple of different websites that uh, have some probably better quality uh, images that you can look at. Most of you probably know Google Image Search, and I'm not going to show you how to use that simply because they've recently changed the way that they allow you to search for images and it and the way that you can search for Creative Commons, although you can search for that, it doesn't distinguish between the types of Creative Commons licenses. So I really want you to be able to search for the CC0 license. So the one uh, search engine that I do suggest you use is actually Bing search engine. This is Microsoft search engine because they allow that delineation. So if you just click on that and uh, I will put my Word document uh, below the video uh, and also uh, on our course uh, platform as well. But if you go to Bing, you'll see that there's um, the regular search engine box there. So let's say, for example, I want to create uh, some sort of ad for staying at home during COVID, uh, stay on the sofa. So I'm going to search for a sofa that I might use. Uh, go to images. Okay. And specifically right here, I can see a whole bunch of sofas, but I haven't actually looked at the particular license yet. So when you're creating uh, a search, you can actually go over to the filter if this uh, line is not there. Um, and, and then you click on license. Now, there's a lot of different versions of the licenses that you can actually click on, and it will depend on what your particular stipulations are. But for the CC0 uh, images, I need to click public domain. So these ones have already been filtered for that. And still you see you get uh, still quite a range of different images that you can actually use. Um, you can be even more specific if you want something like a black sofa, uh, etc. So say for example if I want to use this particular sofa, what I would suggest you do is also just check because this is a search engine here. So I would actually go, I would see what site it is, Pexels, which is actually one of the sites that I was going to suggest for you later. Um, but I would even again just visit that site and check to see, yes, it is the Creative Commons Zero. So uh, that means that you can use this within the commercial context and it's free to download as well. So you just go there. The, the great thing about uh, this particular site uh, is that you can actually download it in different sizes. So particularly for print media, you want to get the larger sizes so that your uh, it's not pixelated or it, I guess it depends what you're doing with it. If you're manipulating it some way, maybe it doesn't matter so much. So that is the first part of what I wanted to talk to you about, the search engine. And then underneath that, I've got specific uh, websites that you can also do the same now these particular websites which are Unsplash, Pix Pixabay, Pexels and Stocksnap they all have only Creative Commons Zero photos but it probably means that unlike a search engine where you might get quite a variety in terms of the quality um, that you know you're going to get good quality so if again you can click on that and I've just written within that document sort of what the stipulations are in terms of what you can and can't do with the photos. So from here, uh, again, you could just type in, I want, a, I want a sofa. And I get a range of different uh, options there. Good quality. So say, for example, I want to have a look at this one. I can download that for free in different sizes, etc. So that's really good. Okay, the last type of site that I just wanted to briefly touch on as well is Europeana. 
Okay, so this is essentially, um, it's not all Creative Commons Zero license, but if you wanted something that was really old, for instance, uh, this is actually a really good site to get some old stock. Um, so Europeana is basically a conglomerate of a bunch of um, museums, galleries, libraries, archives, those kinds of things, where they post up different types of images that uh, have different licenses on them so some of them you can actually use and in particular when it's 70 years old in general that's okay to use uh, unless it's got a specific license blocking that so if you wanted to look for again um, you could go to search up here and I want to look up a sofa and you'll notice that you get a lot of older kind of stock footage there as well, just in case you're doing something to do with nostalgia, etc. But again, the issue here is that you really have to make sure that you are clicking, can you use this? I would always click the yes, not yes with conditions, or maybe seek permission. So you can see, obviously, you get less choice there. Um, you get to choose sort of type of media, image, sound, those kinds of things as well and you can apply that and then you get sort of ones that you can probably use. Again, I would still just check to see if there's any particular license on that or not. See here you can see Creative Commons, actually you do need to. This is not Creative Commons zero. Um, this one means you need to attribute it and uh, so forth. So you just need to uh, make sure you understand Creative Commons zero will have just Creative Commons and zero there as well. So that is how you search for um, different images and basically the great thing about the Creative Commons Zero is that you can modify them, um, you can use them as is and, and that's generally fine.